So you just got Kaido and you're having fun with him, and you're trying to make a clutch play, and you see that everyone is gathered at the B flag, so you think to yourself, okay, I'm just gonna use my skill 1 and teleport to the back cap. But lord and behold, you press your skill 1, and you teleport to the B flag. Well, if you positioned yourself correctly, you can actually choose where you want to teleport, and you can go to the back cap and clutch out the game. Hi, I'm DDK, and I did a bunch of tests on every single map of the game so that you don't have to. So Kaido skill 1 will always teleport towards the enemy's flag that is the furthest away from you. Now on some maps that's pretty easy to understand where you're going to teleport to, but on some others it's a bit more tricky. So let's get the easy ones out first. On Fishman Island, Barati Day and Barati Night, the enemy's base flag is always going to be the furthest away, so you're always going to teleport towards that flag. And if that flag is already taken, then you're going to teleport to their second flag. And there's nothing that you can really do about it. On Arlong Park A, which is the map where there's only one flag in the middle, you will always teleport diagonally. Now, if you can't teleport diagonally, you will go across. On Fishman Island B, which is the map where there are two flags in the middle, your character will always want to teleport towards either the D flag or the B flag. But there's a little trick if you're close to your own base flag. Now, if you teleport inside of your own base flag, you are still going to teleport towards either the B or the D flag. But, if you are just outside of your treasure area, towards the flags where you don't want to teleport to, you're actually going to teleport towards their own base flag. On Drum Island, anywhere you stand on the mountain will teleport you towards the enemy's base flag. Except for this one ramp close to your second flag, which will actually teleport you towards the enemy's second flag. Now you need to be a little bit outside of your treasure for it to work, because if you are in your treasure, you will still teleport towards the enemy's base flag. But other than that, it works on the entirety of the ramp. On Water 7, you will always teleport towards the enemy's base flag. There's this one niche spot where you can actually teleport towards their second flag. I don't know how useful this is gonna be, it's very niche and very outside of where the fight is usually happening, but it's here, so I thought I'd let you know. On Saba Odi Knight, you will always try to teleport towards either the E flag or the A flag, but if your team owns both of those flags, you will always teleport towards one of the two flags up top. On Saba Odi Day, it's a bit more interesting because you teleport diagonally, and if you can't teleport diagonally, you will teleport straight across. But, if you're standing on the top platform, you can stand in this corner and you will still teleport directly across and not diagonally. So you get the truth. But it does not seem to work on the lower platforms. Alabasta Day is the exact same thing as Salbodi Day, it's just that the map is flat. So you teleport directly diagonally- oh! Oh wait, no you don't. If you actually want to go to the enemy's second flag, you need to stand outside of the treasure and walk towards the enemy's base flag and then you will teleport towards their second flag. Alabasta Night works in the exact same way as Alabasta Day works, so if you teleport from inside your flag or anywhere else, you will teleport towards their base flag. If you want to go to their second flag, what you need to do is stand outside of your treasure area, walk towards the enemy's base flag, and then teleport, and you will be exactly where you want to be. On Thriller Bark, you will always teleport from inside the castle to outside of the castle. So all you need to do is look at the map, if the map is showing you what's happening outside of the castle, you will teleport inside, and if it's showing you what's happening inside, then you will teleport outside. On Marine Fort, you almost always go to the enemy's base flag, but if you want to go to the enemy's second flag, then you can go down this path, and you have to go pretty far, at least until the ice block blocks your view to the second flag, and then you can teleport it straight to their flag. I couldn't find any tricks on Dressrose or Colosseum, but it does seem like you always teleport just straight across to the other platform. And I have to warn you that you have to be careful about the fishy. For Dressrosa City, it's pretty simple. Just imagine the line going straight to the middle of the map. And whatever flag that line is closer to, is where you're going to teleport. On Rogue Town, no matter where you stand, you will always teleport to the enemy's base flag. But what you can do is pretend to go for a backup, and once you're past the halfway point, then you can teleport straight to mid. On the land of Wano stage, if you teleport from the D flag, you will teleport straight to the B flag. And vice versa, if you teleport from the B flag, you will teleport straight to the D flag. But as we saw in the intro, if you walk outside of the treasure, away from the base flag, then you can teleport straight to their base flag. Now this also works if you walk onto the bridge. But it doesn't seem to work if you do it from the other side. However, on the other side, what you can do is walk towards the middle and then you will be able to teleport to their base flag. 
but you, I do have to warn you that you have to go in quite a bit, otherwise it won't work. On the Onigashima stage, no matter where you stand on the platform, you will always teleport to the other platform. Except for this one corner, where if you stand in this corner, you will actually teleport to the enemy's base flag. Now you can also teleport to the enemy's base flag by standing on the bridge, but you have to stand on the left side of the bridge, otherwise you will still go to the enemy's second flag. I do have to say that you also have to go quite far, you have to at least go past those posts, because otherwise you will still go to the enemy's second flag. Another interesting part in this stage is this incline. Now if you can see, this incline has two different parts. There's one part that is more steep and there's one part that is more flat. If you stand on the flat part, you will teleport to the second flag. But if you stand on the more steep part, you will teleport to their base flag. That is, unless you stand, you stand in a way that you are touching the actual platform, then you will still go to the enemy's second flag. Last but not least, we got Shandora, where if you teleport from your B flag, you will actually go to the D flag. Now, if you want to go to the E flag, so their base flag, what you need to do is step outside of your treasure area towards the left and then teleport. Now you can also do this by walking towards the middle, but I have to warn you that you have to walk in quite a bit in order to do that. You almost need to be at the mid flag for that to work. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe if you like what I do. Maybe check out my other videos. And for my regular viewers that are joining the giveaway in February, I'm going to give you guys a hint. So the hint is 100 shots, 100 hits, lulu la la lu. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> even your, even a mouse eye, lock on. Even your heart, lock on. Now I think, <laughs> I think this one is super obvious if you know what this is. If you don't, it's not a problem because there's other hints coming. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!